Well, hello there, you two. Ow! A bug wanted to say hi. What up, everybody? It's your friend, Heathen Rider. And I'm coming at you with a long overdue Moto Vlog Z. Yes, I am. So, how's everyone doing today? Pretty good, I hope. Good. If you're not, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you should get out there and ride a motorcycle because that helps me when I don't feel very happy. Which brings me to my current point of how you guys haven't noticed any of my vlogs coming out. That would be because Z Phoenix here at an oil leak. Yeah. And, well, it was an oil leak that I could not discover. I couldn't figure out where it was. And so I just kind of let my, my poor bike sit for a little while until I could get enough time, hi bunny, to actually examine it. Which I finally got to do, which was nice. <laughs> I thought it was my stator. Uh, engine cover here on my left side that took a bunch of damage from when I crashed. Right there, yeah, you guys see that? So I thought that's what it was, but it wasn't. In fact, when I take it, put it up on the jack stand, I found out that it was coming from inside my chain housing, my front sprocket cover. Ow. I hate the beginning of this road, it's just garbage. So, ow. <laughs> as soon as I uh, got it all jacked up and pulled everything out to replace the stator all you know, I'd read up on how to do it and had my guide out and everything like that I was all excited I was gonna do something I hadn't done before I noticed that that's not where the oil leak is coming from and then it's coming from what appears to be the oh my god I forgot the name of it crankshaft yeah crankshaft steel yeah that thing so I did some more looking into it and I hit up my mechanic and everything like that. I didn't know that's what it even was or where it might be coming from. So I hit up my mechanic and other happy do da folks up on Facebook. Shout out to Lacey. Thank you for that. Appreciate your input as well as yours, Kelly. And ah, it's been a while since I've been on this road. It feels nice. Ah, forgot the nice curves. Oh, the curves. My happiness. They make me all happy on a bumpy road. So, yeah, shout out to you guys. Thanks for the input on that. I uh, did some more research then with that information in hand and found out that that is probably, in fact, what my problem is. Um, just, you know, my bike, I actually just hit this yesterday out on a cruise with some other people. I am now at 38,000 miles. That's right, 38,000. So that means I've put on approximately 8,000 miles onto my motorcycle since I purchased it. Approximately. I think I had 31,000. So, yep, I got another 1,000 to go before the season's up, buddy. <laughs> I couldn't say I had an actual 8,000. But a few thousand more, and I'll put 10 on it in one year. Hell yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> the part. I looked it up, and a lot of other people had similar symptoms, um, oil leaking from the same spot. So, yeah. Went ahead and uh, checked my oil level, filled it up, was about a liter, half liter probably, uh, shy. So it's been dripping for a little bit. And yeah, just got to keep an eye on it, make sure it stays topped up on the oil. And not push my bike too hard to go on too many more trips. But still want to try and get out and do some vlogging, and I've been craving coming up to Monty, so that's where we're going right now. Now, I just wanted to give you guys a shout out, let you know what's going on. Since my promotion, where I was traveling down to Orem all the time, I also had my leases expiring, so I'm looking for a new place to live. Ow! And I was supposed to find out today if my application for the place went through, but I guess the management properties, computers, we're having some technical difficulties, some shit like that, I don't know. So, no news on that for me, not until probably Wednesday, and then come Wednesday, I should know whether or not I get by a new place. If that is the case, I will be fortunate enough to be able to move in here very soon, which I'm actually quite looking forward to. I mean, it's a really nice place out. So, it's uh, quite the upgrade for my one bedroom right now. 
talking casually while it's going to hunt him. <laughs> but the place I'm going to be moving into is a two bedroom, one and a half bath, two car garage. And it's a town home. It's in a lot nicer area. It's like a stone's throw away from where I work. So I'm pretty super stoked about it. I'm really hoping that everything goes through on it. If not, there's another one, but for $100 more a month, just like down the street from it. Same exact layout and everything, same town home build. So might end up just going with that one. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. So that's what's going on in that department. Um, the bike's been out of commission. I got my promotion, which is going smashingly well, and I'm moving. So I've been packing and dealing with that, which has led me to not really have a whole lot of time for my bike. But a new garage, or an actual garage, I should say it, means I can actually do better repair jobs because one thing that's kept me from doing any repairs here lately was the fact that it's been 100 degrees outside. <laughs> Even when it's like 86 degrees outside, it is miserable. Uh, you know, I got a black asphalt is where I park my bike. It looks kind of like this shit. So it gets pretty roasty toasty on that. Whoa, dude, you want to stay on the road and not shoot me with fucking rocks? That'd be nice. Or, of course, I'm just going to pass you. That works, too. Shit wad sped up. <clears throat> so, a lot of good things coming my way. Really excited to have a garage, a uh, place to park my bike for the winter and work on it, do things to it. Uh, slight chance I might actually work on getting my ZX750 up and running again. I'm actually trying to sell it. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know at this point. <laughs> I about just took it to the scrapyard the other day just to throw it away. because it's. I, no one wants to buy it. And the people that do want to buy it now, there's a couple guys, but the guy wants just a couple pieces of it. And he doesn't, he doesn't want everything. Like he wants just the, the rear set piece and subframe for the back of the frame. And I'm like, uh, no. It's all custom painted and shit. So if I did that, then the rest of the frame would pretty much be worthless. So I don't want to do that. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bike. We'll have to just wait and see. So anyways. There's a quick life update as to what's going on with me, and yeah, I did have a video talking about my leak, but the majority of it was me just seriously pissed off. I didn't realize how pissed off I was, and I was going to release the video and be like, okay, I'm going to record this, and I'm going to go home, and I'm going to talk about the oil leak and tell people, you know, I'm probably not going to be on for a little while, and the majority of it was just like, son of a bitch! Like, I had so many plans that day for writing and upcoming. But now those plans can come back to fruition now that I know what the oil leak is and I know the solution to it and I can do that. So, yeah, happy day. But on this note and on this lovely curvage, I'm going to finish my ride up to Monty while trying not to kill the butterflies and I'll catch you guys all later. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and y'all stay fresh and happy and there's a stop sign in that dude's yard. And just remember, stay safe, have fun. Peace. Ow!